Hey everybody, I'm Amor and this is my How Tuesday. Today I'm gonna show you how to blend your leave out with your Maven Deep Wave hair. So the first things that you're gonna need is a boar bristle paddle brush, a headband scarf, a paddle brush, a spray bottle, leave-in conditioner, and regular conditioner and then edge control for when you're all finished. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is take all of your leave out the night before you're styling your hair and you wanna damp your leave out and then put conditioner or any styling holding product you wanna use and then you French braid your entire perimeter all the way around and you let it sit overnight so that it can dry and then I kinda just tied off the ends with a little scrunchie. And so now we're going to wet all of the hair so that we can get the curl pattern back to being defined. So I'm going to take my headband and cover up the braid so that I don't wet it. Because if you wet it, then it's going to not hold the curl anymore that you just did all night. Now that it's all covered, you can start spraying your hair. So just to wet it, I have mixed mostly water and I just put a few pumps of conditioner in it just to give it a little bit of moisture. So I'm going to just spray my hair and get it... Um, thoroughly saturated. You don't want it dripping wet, but you want it wet enough to cover all of the hair. So shake it up because when you mix conditioner and water, it could like rise. So if you're spraying, you're just going to be spraying water. So shake it up first and then just kind of lift the hair a little bit and just spray inside of the hair. You can kind of uh, squish it together. You can kind of see the curl pattern coming back already so just make sure you're wetting all of the pieces picking it up where you need to right in the areas where it's a little harder to get wet you can just kind of turn it inside out and spray it there again and then take all of your ends together just make sure you're getting everything but notice it's not dripping wet even though all the hair is wet not too much water because then it'll just take all day to dry and you don't want that <laughs> so the next step just take it and kind of just divide it into two sides and then you're going to take your paddle brush and just starting from the ends and working your way up to the top you're just going to detangle the hair now i see exactly where i need to add more water because the hair is more poofy so i'm just going to take the spray bottle again and go back through. So now that you've completely brushed your hair, brushing the hair kind of doesn't get all the curls to go more defined. So what I like to do is take my fingers and you're just gonna rake through your hair. And this is just kind of helping the hair to piece back together in those big waves instead of being more poofy and less defined. So just piecing the hair, squeezing it like this all the way down. You can pick it up and do the same thing. And then you kind of just spread it back out. And then taking your fingers, you can just scrunch into the hair to define the curl pattern. So now that you've kind of defined the curl pattern, in areas where you think it might need a little bit more hold, you can just take some regular conditioner and take a little pump in your hand and just kind of like scrunch it up in the same way. And some areas may need a little bit more attention, so you could just rub it together, grab that section, and kind of just pull down, spread it apart, and just scrunch it back up. Now that all of this hair is defined, go ahead, remove the band, and take out the leave out. So I'm just going to let my hair dry a little bit more, and then I'll come back and show you how that looks. Okay, so now my hair is mostly dry. It's still pretty damp, especially inside and underneath. So now this is the perfect time to go ahead and start working on your leave out. So remove the headband. We're gonna go ahead and take out the braid. So now that I'm getting towards the top, I'm just gonna be a little bit more careful, like not raking my fingers through the braid, just so that the when you're taking it down, your crinkles will be more defined. So I'm just lightly flicking the hair out of place. Because if you're too rough taking out the French braid, it'll just be a big textured mess. Taking so. all of this hair on this side, I'm just going to piece it over 
and the hair that's laying on the side I'm just gonna kind of like place it underneath and then this hair I always like to push this piece like back so that you can cover the wefting that's right here so I just kind of like position it back and then lay this hair down on top and then everything on this side I just push it that way and then for your pieces that are kind of straighter what I like to do is take pieces of the ends and random sections wherever it needs to be hidden and you just lift up your hair and tuck in that little piece and it just kind of all blends together so this piece right here is kind of just straight and not you know just out of place so what I would do is just pick up a piece of hair lead it backwards and then just drop the other hair and it literally will like stay there all day unless you're like in a windstorm or something then it'll be <laughs> all over the place so basically that is how I blend my leave out it's really undetectable and the way that I have my hair installed is the flip over method so if I want to flip all my hair on this side I can flip it on that side and you won't be able to see or vice versa on this side I can kind of do it in the middle just as long as your natural hair is covering the weft you should be totally fine so putting everything back and then throughout the day as your hair is going to continue to dry just kind of keep remembering to just scrunch up in the hair every now and then and that's how I do it thank you so much for watching please remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this